Okay, we have a little unboxing of, well, you already know this, what this is because you've seen it on the description. So let's give it an open. So we have the Raspberry Pi development kit which comes with the compute module 5, the compute module 5 I.O. board, the cooler, the case, a power supply, an aerial, HDMI cables and a USB to A to C cable uh, which is confirmed on the back. I like this design, just the outline. Yowza, it's small. Always forget how small these are. Featuring a quad core ARM Cortex A76 processor and the RP1 IO controller. Should we get everything out first? And then uh, here's the heatsink specifically for the SM5. Uh, SM being compute module, of course. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I've dropped one of the cables, but there's the HDMI to HDMI. And here's another HDMI to HDMI. Then we have the 27 watt power supply, uh, 3 amps, 9 volts, DC 12 volts, 2.25 amps, DC 15, 1.85 amp. And then we have the antenna, and the USB-C to A cable and then the case which is chunky that's sturdy why is that so heavy uh, Jeff Galen wasn't ki kidding was he so there's the power button the camera one display and camera display ports. And then we have the uh, cutout for the aerial, but that's covered over with a little rubber grommet. The SD, sorry, the, yeah, the SD card slot and then the power in. This is only power in, no barrel jack. Um, HDMI, HDMI. Yeah, uh, I suppose we need to get into this. hasn't got any wall mounted slots which is a bit of a shame because if it had those already then uh, we'll be ready to go so there you go so huh, designed in KiCad <laughs> that's kind of cool so your battery slot your pin headers the cam display ports uh, the power button and various jumpers, uh, power button, uh, PMCI enable, or PMIC enable, sync enable, uh, USB over the air, and then there's some notes here saying fit jumper to disable MMC boot, fit jumper to disable writing to EEPROM. And then we've got the fan connector which is just disconnected for the fan. Uh, as Jeff pointed out as well, there's a rubber grommet on top of there. Okay, so, in theory, in 
if I can open the box, there we go. That's the heat sink. Interesting. So I need to take the board out to screw this in from the other side by the looks of it. Back of the CM5. There's the front of the CM5. To get the right way around, that would be helpful. And then to install this, we just put it onto there. The right way around. Doing this with a camera in your way is definitely uh, interesting. There we go. So yeah, this needs to come out so I can screw this one from the underside. So I believe the heat sink is required. So I assume if I stick this on, Which way does it go? Not that way. It must be that way. That's it. Nope, that does not seem right. Ah, of course, it's this way because there's a little cutout for the antenna connection, which is on the CM5. Things are definitely trickier with a camera in your way. There we go. Hopefully they'll stick enough for me. Nope, they won't stick enough for me to lift it up. I just move that out of the way for a second. Pop this back in. <clears throat> Definitely need to get a uh, better overhead camera rig going on. So, wait, do we have spaces here? 